Hey guys, it's Reed from Commander99, and we're back again with our affordable upgrade series for the Commander 2018 decks. Today we're talking about Estrid the Masked. Estrid the Masked is a legendary planeswalker. It costs one, a green, a white, and a blue, and it comes in with three loyalty counters. Estrid's plus two is untap each enchanted permanent you control. Her minus one is create a white aura enchantment token named Mask, attached to another target permanent. The token has enchant permanent and totem armor. Lastly, her ultimate ability is minus seven. Put the top seven cards from your library into your graveyard, return all non-aura enchantment cards from your graveyard to the battlefield, and then do the same for your aura cards. First off, we're going to add some ramp. This is going to be cards like Abundant Growth, New Horizons, and Utopia Sprawl. The next set of cards they're going to be looking to add to this deck are cards that get benefit from the number of enchantments that you have, or just generally good enchantments itself. We've added cards like Ancestral Mask, Oromancer's Guise, Ethereal Armor, Eidolon of Countless Battles, and Helm of the Gods, because all of them will increase in power based on the number of enchantments we have. Rancor is also added because it's a recurring enchantment that also gives our large creatures trample. And what Enchantress Death would be complete without the suite of enchantresses that we can add. Cards like Mesa Enchantress, Seder Enchanter, and Verduran Enchantress all allow us to draw cards off of casting our enchantments. And Cartouche of Knowledge and Angelic Gift give us card draw when it enters the battlefield. Lastly, we don't expect Estrid to stick around very long just by herself, so we've added cards like Nyx Fleece Ram, Song of the Dryads, Imprisoned in the Moon, to help protect our commander. Alright guys, let's start talking about the cuts we've made with the core of the deck. Now we did cut some enchantments, mainly because these cards either ended up not synergizing very well with the deck, or there was a better version of it. Starting off, Vow of the Wilds and Unflinching Courage. While both are very good cards in their own right, you cannot find home in this deck. There's already better enchantment removal, and better ways to give our creatures trample. Righteous Authority and Dictate of Crufix are great draw spells in the right hands, but in this one, just end up being lackluster. Dawn's Reflection was cut because we found cheaper ways to make our lands tap for more. Celestial Archon and Epic Proportions were also cut. This is due to the cards costing way too much mana than we want to spend on an enchantment. We've also cut Whitewater Naiads because there are just better ways to make our creatures unblockable. The next set of cuts is the Loyal series, Loyal Guardian, Loyal Drake, and Loyal Unicorn. These cards don't particularly have anything to do with enchantments, and Loyal Guardian especially promotes more of a wide token strategy, which we are not. Imperial Storm and Martial Coup have both been cut because they're more of a token-centric strategy. Genesis Storm has been cut because it is a very expensive sorcery and doesn't necessarily guarantee us enchantments. Bant Charm and Dismantling Blow are both situational and on the more expensive side. We've also cut Hydra Omnivore, Ravenous Slime, Daxos of Miletus, and Eryximethes, Slumbering Isle, end up just being large dudes. This doesn't particularly play into our enchantment strategy in any way, and so they've also been cut. We've also cut three Enters the Battlefield tapped lands with no additional benefit. This would be Woodland Stream, Meandering River, and Tranquil Expanse. The deck comes with 39 lands in it, and we think that 36 is just fine. I hope you all enjoyed these upgrades for Estrid the Mask, part of our Commander 2018 upgrade deck techs. We'd also like to thank those of you who support the channel directly. There's a link to our Patreon down below if you want to check it out. As always, if you enjoyed the video, give us a like, tell us why, share, and subscribe. 